Hi, I'm Jill Erickson with Art Jewelry Magazine. I'm going to show you how to wash, dry, and store powdered enamels. In this segment, we're talking about how to prepare enamels before applying them to metal and then firing them. Enamels come in a powdered form and you need to make sure that you wash them thoroughly, particularly for transparent enamels, which will appear cloudy if you don't rinse off the fines. And you do that by first making sure when you're working with powdered enamels that you wear a dust mask to protect, to protect yourself. So make sure you're wearing that. And then put your enamels in into a small container and pour a little distilled water. Use distilled if you can, especially if your water is not particularly pure. That'll result in a, a better, better color on your fired piece. And you'll see that that water's quite cloudy and those are the particulates or fines that you want to filter off. And I've just placed a, a coffee filter in a plastic cup to capture those fines. Now you'll repeat that process of pouring the water, swirling it a bit, letting the enamel settle and yet the fines will stay in the cloudy water and pouring that off. You'll continue to do that until the water is clear. And I have prepared a second batch and I'll show you then how you can dry those enamels and you'll see that some of those fines are starting to to collect at the bottom of the filter. Now you can save and reserve those fines and dry them and use them as counter enamel. Counter enamel is fused to the back of a piece of metal to counter or balance the stress created by the enamel on the front of the metal when it's fired. So if you want to reserve those for that purpose, you can do that. I'm going to show you how to dry enamels. You could, you, you have a couple options. You could pour off that water, that excess water, cover this to protect dust and other contaminants from getting in your enamels and, and let them air dry. Or you can speed things up a little bit by placing the enamels on paper. I'm going to use a little spatula tool and spreading them out and letting them air dry. Still probably would be a good idea to place a piece of plastic wrap or something over these to, pre to prevent dust particles from settling into your enamels. So when you are going to work with enamels, particularly transparent ones, don't skip this step or you may be quite disappointed with the color of your final piece. Once you've got your enamels dried, and these have dried on sheets of paper that I've creased first, you can see the fold here, I've done that to make it a little easier for me to pour the dried enamels into a storage container. You can use glass or plastic containers. Make sure you find containers that have lids to keep dust particles and dirt out of your enamels. So it's very simple then with a folded crease to simply pour the enamels into a container. Label them to keep them, to keep track of the colors and types of enamels you're using. Smaller containers such as these small vials and corks are great for tiny amounts of enamel that you might use for wet packing.